Hey everybody, it's Jeffrey with DetachedDesigns.com and today we're going to work on something just a little more simple. Uh, we're going to target Internet Explorer 6 uh, using some conditional statements. So, uh, a lot of you might know how to do this and if, and if you do, you might want to just stop watching now. But uh, there's still a big group of people that know you can do this but they don't know exactly how. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to look at my solution, I just have a blank page, a blank style sheet, and a couple images. And what we're going to do here, this uh, white ping right here, that's basically a 10 pixel by 10 pixel um, ping that has the opacity down to about 40%. And what we're going to do is overlay that over a background image so that it gives us somewhat of um, a place to put our text, but it's also transparent enough that the background image will show through. But in Internet Explorer 6 and below, they don't support alpha transparency, so we're going to have to work around that. So, let's get right into it. I'm going to create a div element, give it an ID of container, and just add some generic text. Alright, that's good. And let's go and add some styling. We're going to do container. We're going to set the margins to auto so that it's centered. And we'll give it a width of 700 pixels. And let's also set the background. Now the background, we're just going to direct it to our ping element. So it's going to be img slash white bg dot ping. And because it's just a 10 pixel by 10 pixel graphic, um, we're going to set it to repeat and then put it in the top left portion of the screen. Now, just a quick tip, setting margins to auto will center the div. However, in IE5 and below, it won't. So what we're going to do is quick kind of hack. In the body element, we're going to set the text align to center. And that will uh, incorrectly center everything. Just not just text, it'll center elements and images as well. So in our container element, we're just going to bring that back to the left. Just a little quick tip for you if you guys didn't know that already. Okay, so let's view it in the browser. Oh, one more thing, I need to add a background color so that we can actually see uh, this transparent thing. So we'll just set the background color something you can easily see. We'll set it to red. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. We'll do it on the body. Background, red. Okay. Now we'll be able to see that ping. Okay, you can see right here. Uh, I hope you can see this. Uh, once the video is compressed somewhat. But you can see here, this is our main div, and we have this white ping with the opacity down to about 30%. So, let's do something so we can see it a little better. I'm going to set the background of the body element to this image that I have. So we're going to do URL img slash background dot jpg, and we're not going to repeat it. Just put it in the top left portion. Okay, and add a height to this just so we can see it a little bit better. I'm going to change the width down to 400 pixels and the height to about 500. Just random numbers, nothing too technical about that. Refresh it. Okay, so this is just a big picture of a woman smiling. It's actually for a project I'm working on. But you can see here this white ping is actually giving us a place to put our text. So it's not just some obnoxious white square that's covering up our image. We just have the opacity down. But as I said before, IE6 will not display that alpha transparency. So how can we change the code so that in IE6 we do something different? Okay, well, let's get into it. Go back to my uh, main page, and in the heading tag, we're just going to add a little bit of code. I'm just going to add this text snippet. Okay, uh, go over this real quick. If LTIE7, if less than IE7, meaning if the user, if the browser of the user that's accessing your web page is less than IE7, now remember, this there, it's not saying if it's IE7 and below, if it's less than IE7, then we're going to link a style sheet and the href is ie6.css. So let's go ahead and create that CSS. Add new item, style sheet, we'll call it ie6.css. And what we need to do here 
is change the background of this container element. So this is a style sheet that will only run if the user has IE6 or below. So in the container element, I'm just going to change the background. And you know, just so you can see the difference, I'm just going to change it to something like red. So if we run it in our main browser again, nothing is going to change because we haven't targeted these modern browsers. But let's go into IE Tester. Uh, this is just a program that allows you to test your websites in uh, different versions of Internet Explorer. So if you don't have it, whoops, that wasn't fun. If you don't have it, uh, I highly recommend you download it. Another website that you can use to test out your sites is uh, browsershops.org, I believe. If it's not, check browsershots.com. So I'm going to add a new tab, IE6, and I'm just going to paste in that URL. And now you can see in IE6, it's picking up that additional style sheet that's telling us to make the background red. So going back over it, we have two style sheets. This style sheet will run in IE6 as well, but anything that we specify in this second style sheet will override the first style sheet. Okay? And we do that by going back. If less than IE7, we're going to link a new style sheet. Okay? So if we wanted to target IE7 specifically, we would just get rid of this LT. If IE7, and similarly IE6, or uh, if less than IE8. So uh, you actually have a good bit of wiggle room when, uh, when targeting these browsers. So I hope this helped. And if you have any additional questions, feel free to visit detachdesigns.com slash blog. Uh, just leave a comment or feel free to look over uh, some of the resources that I have. And uh, thanks a lot, everyone.